Today we'll take on the last slide which you can find on 8820 which is off-wing slide and I would like to show you how to replace it. So let's take a look at it. First of all we will extend the flaps to a certain position so we can uh, reach all the screws and later on align the seal. So I'll put it on position one or two should be enough. Flaps are slowly extending. This is position one plus F. And this is position number two, which should be enough for us. You control it with this lever. And if you want to know how the flaps works, I explain it in one of my previous videos. So link you can find up here. But now let's go back to our slide replacement. Uh, we can switch off the hydraulic. And now we need to secure the flap lever uh, against the movement. For that we're gonna use this tool. We just put it over the lever and insert the pin. So now you cannot lift the lever. I will of course apply the sticker to don't move the lever and of course don't move the flaps. As you can see, flaps are out and now we can reach each and every screw which is over there. So we can start, but before we start to replacing that slide, we need to secure it against inflation. For that, I need to go into off cargo. The inflation bottle is here behind this panel. This holds on the place by six studs. And bottle is here and we need to install this pin over here and we place it over here and with the flag out of the panel so whoever gets into the cargo immediately we're gonna see that bottle is deactivated and how it actually works uh, the bottle is filled with nitrogen and whenever you will open at the emergency exit, which is uh, over the wings. You will pull the lever, which uh, thanks to cable, which is inside of here, will open the bottle and that one will release the pressure inside of the slide and it will inflate it. So this way the slide is secured and we can safely work on it. So this is our overing slide, which is gonna be inflated whenever you will open one of those two emergency overwing doors. So it holds on the place thanks to several studs and uh, inside we can find uh, one connector and uh, hose through which it is inflated. So. Let's start with removal. Okay, let's start with the plate on the bottom. So it will remain here uh, and we will install it on the new slide. And on it, you can find a seal which. Uh, covers this part so leave it here for now then I'll take it down and now we can start with removal of the slide itself actually the slide itself when it is inflated 
is quite big uh, and it is interesting how compactly it is packed inside of such a small place. You will see later on when I'll pull it out how big actually it is. A few moments later. Double check if all of them are completely loose, but looks like that they are. Yeah. I need to tilt it a bit. And now we can remove the hose and connector. And just to show you what I'm talking about, the hose is over here and connector is exactly here. So we'll remove those two things. Then I'll call my colleague to help me to move it out of the airplane. <laughs> okay, so first of all, hose. Yeah, yeah. Smile, laugh, why not? Okay, it's tube and connector. That's it. You should be ready for removal. Okay, let's take it out. Really? Yeah. And go. So slide is out and actually what is important before installation of the new one is inspection of uh, those receptacles. If all of them are in good condition because once you have it there you don't want to really pull the slide again out. So check them if they're okay, just install the new one. I don't know. Super. Trupka. Good. Slide is on the place, so we can we can start with the uh, horse. Okay, now we can actually work it. So just the position. Ninety degrees and a bit more. Exactly, perfect. So, hose is on place. Now we need to install our connector. Good. And we can put slide in the group. So now it requires just a bit of adjustment so it will sit exactly where we need it so we need to get each and every stud in a dedicated hole and sometimes it's easy sometimes it's harder but yeah in the end we'll just catch each and every Okay, so all are in and now we can install this plate, so slide it in, and then 
You need to sit in the groove down here. Good. Now, the French. A few moments later. Okay. So, that's it. Now we can activate the ball inside the cargo and retard the flaps and perform the test. Okay, we can activate the slide, which means they will now pack the pin. And then we can, or we need to store it here in this pouch. Yeah, that's removed. We can start with the close up of the panel. As always, installation of the studs is fun to find the hole. And as I said before, this takes a lot of time, so I speed it up so we can get to more important part. Good. So that's done. Let's move to the cockpit. Okay. So everything is done. Now we need to perform test. Test of emergency system is in the process. But it can see that there is a green indication on the system OK. And as well, we have a test OK, which is what we want. So test pass. That's good. Now we can retract the flaps. So we can remove this. Activate hydraulic powers and we can retract them so they're slowly getting in those flaps in we'll wait for slots Just one advice, even they are retracted, you see hydraulic pressure is below, now it gets to the normal pressure. So now when it is around uh, 2,900, you know that uh, flaps are completely retracted. So don't rely on indication. Take a look always on the load on the hydraulic systems. Then you know that flaps are completely retracted. Now we can switch of the hydraulic systems and yeah that's more or less it this was video about the third and the last type of the slides on a320 if you have any questions as always uh, write them down in the comments below also as always please don't use this as a replacement for your manual but always use latest documentation released by manufacturer that's all from my side. My name is Tomasz. This was Recreate Maintenance with Zeto. And I will see you next Sunday. Bye.